Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is a Transformations a Love Reading for Cancer. Hope you guys are all well. You can see I have the Transformation card here. This is about what's transforming in your love life. I haven't done one for a while, so I thought it was time. Transformations, Cancer. What is transforming in your love life? Clear messages and guidance. For cancer regarding the transformations in their love life. What's transforming in your love life? Cancer. There you go. We have a couple of single people there. Some of you are dating. You're, ooh, there we go. Ooh, I think I've seen someone else with these three same cards or close to it. We have someone who's dating. Someone who's single, a couple of single people. You may have met this person already, or you could be already seeing them and dating them. You may travel in the same social circle, live in the same community. I see a new beginning, a fresh new start. Ooh. Some of you may have met somebody. Something could be going. They may be offering you up that old cup of love. Cancer. Clarity regarding your transformations in your love life. Cancer. There we go. Ooh, yes. We have a new crush. Something is just getting started. Very nice. Someone's crushing on you. You may have already met them. They could be in your community. They might want to know if you're single. Yeah, we have an offer, a solid offer coming towards you. Yeah, this is a crossroad. Somebody is approaching you. Uh, this is somebody who probably wants to, maybe hasn't yet. Uh, it's definitely at the crush stage. This is someone who's going to do really sweet things for you. Very caring, you know. This is someone who will nurture and do nice things, give you little gifts. Uh, they want to approach. This is a crossroad. Some of you may have a choice between a couple people as well. It's quite possible, but I see a solid offer. You may have an emotional offer from one person, somebody more emotional and somebody more uh, solid, reliable, financially stable. This is something you can rely on. Someone wants to approach. They've Someone's already picked you. They've chose you. <laughs> they want to approach. You see that path, that crossroads, a decision. This is about the future. Ooh, the seed being planted. Yeah, you got someone with feelings. They might be keeping it to themselves. You may be unaware of this person. Okay, they could be a secret admirer. They have very, they have some deep feelings. They have a tendency to keep them to themselves. So you have, you might have two people. You might have someone more emotional and somebody who approaches in a different way. But they will show you that they care about you emotionally because they're going to do sweet things and nice things for you. They have deep feelings. They're very romantic. I feel like you're going to be dating someone. I see a lot of romance. I feel this person can be quite romantic. Uh, and I do feel they're going to show you as this crush develops, okay? They're going to do nice things and sweet things. <laughs> uh -huh. Cancer, what's going on? They may be a Pisces, Cancer and Pisces energy. Oops. What does Cancer need to know about transformations? Yeah, you got someone here. Yeah, this is, oh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Action-oriented, a lot of fun. Yeah, I feel like you've got someone who's planning something a lot of fun, planning to take action. Look at that. So someone is not actually that uh, concerned, okay? They're not that concerned if there's competition. <laughs> and it's like they don't care about the competition. <laughs> they go after what they want. So I see a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But this is also telling you to be very practical, very you know, grounded to look into the future. Do you see yourself with this person? Uh, I feel as though you may, some of you may be making a choice and going towards another person. You may, uh, you may be the one crushing. You may have a secret, you may be secretly admiring someone. You may have someone you're acting like you don't care. I see Capricorn energy, someone focused on money and finance. It's very action oriented. There may be a few obstacles or challenges, but I feel like you got someone who doesn't care if there's competition. Or they don't care if there's people competing for your attention. They're going to cut right in. But I feel like you got someone who acts like they don't care, but they do. And they're in your community because they're trying to figure out how to approach you. Okay, You may be unapproachable. You also may act like you just want to be single. So you may be unapproachable. So watch that energy, okay? Because you act, maybe you're acting like you don't care. <laughs> I see some fun, making plans for fun, taking action, having a good time. 
Uh, I see obstacles, challenges. I, I see two people. Yeah, I, I feel this is quite an interesting read, Cancer. But I see a, a Capricorn energy. Now, whether that's yourself or you're just acting like you don't care, and someone you may seem unapproachable to somebody. You may act like you want to be single, and they're in your community. They want to, you know, I feel it's a secret admirer, a crush uh, in your circle, in your community. So... If you're going out, don't act like you want to be single. If you want to be with somebody, don't act like you don't care. Okay. Some of you are focused on your money, very focused on your money, and you're not really acting like you care about love. Okay. So that's an interesting energy. You may have people competing for your attention. You're planning something for the future here. You may be planning to take action. You may be seeing this energy, recognizing this about yourself as well. If you're in that energy or you have a person who's like that. So let's see with this. It's definitely focus on money, finance, and career, like obsession almost. But I most of you I feel like it's like you don't really maybe care about love. You're keeping feelings to yourself, right? You may be the one crushing, but it feels like I do see a Capricorn. I see a Virgo energy here as well. So it could be two of you. Whether you have um, those elements in your charts, it's how you're behaving so or how they're behaving. Take it as it resonates. Nine of Pentacles. Why is this here for Cancer? Yeah, so we have someone who's putting something behind. Yeah, someone's kind of feeling like they want to give up on love. You see? Yeah, someone here is definitely telling themselves some stories in their head. Someone may feel like you, you know, feel like they should give up. They want to approach you and can't. You may be unapproachable. You may have this energy around you where you act like you're not interested, but you are. And then, yeah, because I feel like you actually are. Uh, it's just like acting like you don't care. It's my devil may care card. I love this card because, you know, it's being obsessed and crazy about somebody, keeping your feelings to yourself, but acting like you don't care about them. Or they, like I said, they could be. Yeah, see, someone's thinking of t reflecting on something here, uh, leaving something in the past. Something's a lot of work. The stories you tell yourself in your head or there's someone who maybe wants to reach out maybe they act like that and they want to apologize but i feel like you got someone who wants to offer you this cup they want to offer it to you but they kind of feel like they shouldn't take this leap of faith they should just let go that you won't be interested because of the energy i'll read it that way and you can flip it so tell me about the three of cups it's just flowing that way easier for some reason yeah so there is somebody coming in to speak a truth some kind of aha moment yeah, someone's afraid they won't have success. They'll be rejected. They feel like they just want to give up. Maybe it's because you're acting like you don't care, you know. Yeah, see, they're trying to figure something out. Someone's ego's getting in the way. They're trying to figure out something here. This is someone who doesn't like rejection. I can tell you that right now. They don't like that re that feeling of being rejected. And they're trying to figure out something. They're trying to figure out how to approach you uh, they're a little sneaky they may be talking to your friends and family checking you out on social media <laughs> a little bit of a stalker energy but not in a bad way because i feel their intentions are very good okay uh, i feel like they could be kind of obsessed with you as well and i feel like because it's in the middle you both might you may be very well aware of this person but jack like you don't care and you're actually crazy you're keeping it secret keeping it to yourself you see romantic thoughts and feelings there could be a little bit of fear here too as well because of past relationships where you've taken a leap of faith towards somebody and then they acted like they didn't care you know they kind of that sort of energy so you're looking back at all that hard work should i take a leap of faith you know or they're thinking that way i feel like it's them taking that risk it's risky for this person you know to reach out but they know there's that win or lose this is someone who likes to win they want to win okay <laughs> they're crazy about you yeah it doesn't have to be like they're psycho or anything like that okay because i'm not feeling it i actually feel like they're quite grounded quite solid so i feel like what they're going to do is they are going to offer you this they're trying to figure out how to approach how to offer you this you know cup to you're unapproachable but or you're acting like you're not interested, but you are. And I feel like they're kind of in their head trying to figure something out. Yeah, they want to, you probably have people around you. They're in your community. You may have friends around you and stuff. You may not even be noticing or you're, I think you are and you're acting like you're not interested. You, I feel as though you are definitely focused on finances though. 
This person sees you as marriage material. They're crazy about you. They see you as grounded, practical. There's something about being comfortable. Uh, this person finds it, you know, there's a kind of challenge or obstacle about being comfortable or making somebody feel comfortable to approach you. So if they do come forward, it's giving you a heads up to make sure, don't act like you don't care if you do. Okay, there's maybe a challenge or obstacle here. Uh, something It's just like they see you worth fighting for, though. This is the interesting energy, and I feel as though, like I say, if this is yourself in that energy, you may need to make this person feel comfortable. There's maybe the way they approach you, you weren't feeling comfortable, so you acted like you don't care, but you do, okay? Uh, but I feel like they're at that crossroads. There's that choice. It's about approach. They've already picked you. This person sees you. They want to, you know, uh, offer you something. Yeah, see, single person, they want to approach you. They want to know if you're single. They may not know you are 100%, so they're a little cautious. I feel they don't want to create obstacles or challenges or create a fight. If there's if they come up and ask you, hey, are you single? <laughs> Somebody might get upset. Okay, there could be an argument or something. They're worried about that. Yeah, they're definitely in their head about that, really trying to figure things out. This person's in their head. This is all in their head, okay? Tell me about the Six of Cups. Yeah, see, they're careful what they wish for. They have a tendency to kind of keep their feelings to themselves. Could be you or them. Like I said, they're going to offer you this cup of love. They want to approach. They want this wish granted. And I feel like if you, whatever it is you want, this person will give you too. They'll do sweet things. They'll buy you things. Oh, yeah, they, they see you as someone who takes care of themselves. You always look good. You're always dressed for success. Now, this is planning for the future. You're always prepared. Like they, they do know some things. They may be talking to your friends, being a little sneaky. Maybe, like I said, social media. They're kind of figuring you out, right? Uh, your social standing here through friends and family. But you see, they want to start something. They want to date you. They want to court you. They want to offer you this cup of love. Yeah, see, they want to offer that to you. They want to, they'll give you whatever <laughs> you want. And, uh, but they do keep some of their feelings to themselves. I feel they're quite private or they feel you are, you're unapproachable, okay? Or maybe they are, okay? So you're acting like you don't care because maybe they have that energy. I see Virgo and Capricorn energy very strong here. So you either have those elements in your chart or you're behaving that way. So there's that offer, yeah. See that offer coming in, solid, reliable. So somebody here, yeah, yeah, you got someone here who's definitely trusting their intuition, keeping their feelings to themselves, keeping a secret, very secretive, very private. So they're trying to find something out and they can't because it's a secret, it's private. They don't know if you're seeing anyone, if you're single, they don't, they're trying to figure out how to approach and ask you this. If you have someone who comes towards you, you may not be comfortable with this person. You may feel like they're keeping a secret as well. I can see that other scenario building here. Someone who actually just wants to be single. They want to keep everything to themselves. But I feel it's more about privacy, secrecy, just, you know, this is someone who's a little cautious. They don't know everything they need to know, I feel. <laughs> They're trying to figure out. They do not like to be rejected. They want to win. They don't want to be rejected. And they're not quite sure what to do. So I feel that obsession. Yeah. Oops. Yeah, so this person's there. It flows that crossroads, how to approach you. Yeah, there's a little bit of a secret. So I feel like they're a secret admirer. They want to approach, but you're unapproachable. That path, that crossroads, that future. Some of you may have a choice between a couple people as well. You may be dating, have a few offers. You may be trying to decide. You may be at a point where I don't know if I want to even get into a relationship. Some of you have kind of looked back at all the hard work that relationships are. You maybe been single for a while. You're not, so you're kind of reflecting on it. You're not so sure. It's the stories you're telling yourself in your head. But I'll bet you if this person came towards you and they came towards you in the right way, I got a feeling you'd probably go for it. But I think they're going to take this risk. They're just kind of going through that little journey of just like just going for it here. Win or lose. If I get rejected, oh well. Their ego is going to take a hit. There's no doubt about it. <laughs> I feel it too. They, I do feel this person, you know, has a, a an energy about them though. They don't like drama. And I feel like they don't want to create any challenges or an argument. You know, they they don't want to get caught up in something. 
you know, by approaching you to find out if you're actually single. Or maybe they want to approach your friends and they, you know, your friends may be keeping a secret they won't tell them. <laughs> where they're looking on social media. Yeah, see, they see you as loving and nurturing and caring. Uh, very emotional. You're always, yeah, they see you as someone who always has things, pre you're prepared, planned, you look after things. They know some things. I can see the energy. You keep your feelings to yourself. This person doesn't know how you feel or if you have somebody either. That's what I feel. You're private. They see you that way as keeping your feelings to yourself. Like I feel as though you're trying to figure out if you want to have a relationship or you want to stay single because I feel like money is your focus. Yeah, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, somebody financially stable, grounded, making plans to approach. Someone's planning to approach. I think this is someone who's got feelings there. I think it's a secret admirer and I do think you probably know them and maybe unaware. They want to, they're admiring you. I feel like you definitely act like you don't care. You want this, maybe you want this person to come in and fight for you. Maybe you're not comfortable with someone who doesn't come in and, and fight for you. But they don't, they don't like drama. And I don't, we got the King and Queen of Pentacles here again. So that's telling me a power couple. Two people who are financially oriented. Uh, but I see this loving, nurturing, keeping your feelings to yourself. You're unapproachable. They want to approach. Maybe you want them to approach you. You're not sharing a lot of your feelings. You act like you don't care. Or you act like you're single. They don't know. Uh, I feel they're eventually. I feel they're going to find out. This is the transformation across here. You see, they're being careful what they wish for, but they're going to do something very sweet. This is someone who give you whatever you want. I, like I'm serious. They'll. This is someone who will spoil you. Whatever your wishes, their command. Right. That's what I'm feeling with this person. Like they're just. Wow, tell me about this devil may care. Yeah, someone up in their head, see, they're thinking so much about you. They're up in their head thinking about approaching you, how to approach. Uh, they have a strategy, a plan. See, their ego's getting in the way. They want to come towards you. They, This person's obsessed. They're in their head. Wow. They're gaining some kind of clarity, insight, trying to learn something here about whether you're single. They do see you as, as marriage material, though. They definitely do. I think they just don't know if you're single. Or they feel that you're very private. They're trying to find out something. They want to know how you feel. And if you're already seeing this person, they're trying to figure out how you feel. Maybe they feel rejected or you're not interested or you're not good enough. Some of you may have a few people around you. You may have people you're rejecting because they're not good enough. You're having those aha moments because you're reflecting on past relationships as well. So you're being, you know, being very clever yourself, being wise. This is the wisdom. I feel like someone's got some Pisces energy here because I, I feel like someone's using their wisdom, their knowledge about approaching to do with someone here is, needs to learn to balance head over heart as well. Someone very logical, very strategic. Yeah, there's that communication. Yeah, see, someone's thinking about this connection. They want to know if you're connected to anyone. This is a, definitely a soulmate. This could be a friend, someone in your social circle who acts, you know, like they don't care about you, what you're doing or anything, but they actually do. And I feel like it's vice versa. I think you're both crazy about each other. And I think you're doing the same thing they're doing. <laughs> Honestly, it's what it kind of looks like. I, I feel that energy, that approach, that crossroads, that choice between two ways to approach a situation. Uh, something to do with the secret feelings, emotions. I see romance as well. This is someone quite romantic. Uh, they may be, you know, just crazy about you. I see this soulmate connection, two people seeing eye to eye. They could be a friend. Yeah, they're kind of going within here. They're looking at things from every angle, a little bit of a pause taking a little bit of a break, looking at things from a different perspective, different angle, how to approach. There's that two, two ways to approach a situation, two ways to see it. Very logical, yeah. They're setting themselves free. They want to have success. Feel like their ego is getting in the way. They see you as someone who dresses for success. I feel like they want to know if you're successful. I feel they are as well. I see you as that Queen of Pentacles, two successful people. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. Why is this here? Oh, Cancer. There we go. Yeah. So you've got someone here, that, a little bit of Sag energy. 
someone's coming in to fight for what they want. They're very much focused on success. They could be a business owner too. Someone who's very busy, financially oriented. I feel like you are as well. I think this is someone who's very charming, very sexy, very hands-on, financially uh, oriented, maybe entrepreneur. This could be yourself, could be them as well. I see that energy. Yeah, they know what they want. They want to have success, but they, it's how they approach. There's something they want to know. I feel like they're trying to find out something, or maybe you are, whether they're successful or if they're with anybody, if they're single. It's a lot happening in this person's head. They're in their head. This is someone who's used to be in chaste as well. This is someone who's used to be in chaste because they're really attractive, really sexy, you know, maybe a business owner, entrepreneur. But it's about that pause, about how to approach. And it could be yourself looking at, you may have a couple people come and giving you attention. You're looking at them from different angles, perspective, trying to make a choice between two. Could be a friendship, moving it towards another level. You might be unaware though. Like I feel some of you are unaware of this person. Some of you are aware and you're also hiding your feelings. Maybe you feel like they have a secret. You know, there's things that you need to know. There's a need for clarity and truth here, you see. <laughs> Yeah, you may know each other somehow in the community through friends, family, or just, you know, in, in the community. I see talk and gossip about this Ace of Cups. Someone's maybe trying to figure out if you, you know, how to approach, how to offer you this, this cup to go out on a date. But you have people around you. Some of you have people around you when you're out and about. People competing for your attention. There's definitely some obstacles, but I think you got someone who's coming in to fight for what they want. They're go That's the transformation, is that uh, fighting for something they want. Yeah, they're taming the beast within themselves. <laughs> you see, finding that strength. They are very strong, very confident, but they're taming that beast, okay, to come in. They're, the, the ego uh, approaching you in a certain way. I feel they're successful. They're keeping that to themselves, maybe. Or they want to know if you are, you know, either or. But I feel like it's to do with this success, this forward movement. This is about a victory. Uh, they're afraid to have a false victory. They'll find out, you know, but they're, they're, they're gaining that confidence to come in and fight for what they want. I don't think they're afraid if there's competition more than they don't want to cause drama. Uh, there could be some obstacles, right? And that's what they're kind of, I feel they're preparing for this. They're planning for it. They're uh, thinking about how to communicate. This could happen suddenly, too. I don't see this being super slow, other than this King of Pentacles energy. I feel this is somebody who's ready for it to end a situation, to put an end to something. They'll give you whatever you want, too. This is the thing. But they, you're, I don't know if they're very private, very secretive about something. They may want to offer you something. Maybe just keep it between the two of you for a while to avoid gossip. To see how things go, I don't know. But let's see what this Five of Wands is about. Yeah, this is somebody who's definitely uh, taking their time. They want to do things right. They want to. They're taming the beast to come in and come on too strong, is what I think. They want to come in and fight for what they want. They're definitely very action oriented. I feel this is. Some of you might have a couple people. Like I see a choice, a decision, but I feel like it's this person's transforming, transform transformative energy you see as they're going through this process about approaching you can see how that flows you both could be at a crossroads in your life trying to decide if you want to be single or not <laughs> i can see that for some of you or just live alone and maybe you know see someone who likes to travel pause going within introspection in their head thinking obsessed Money, finances, success there too. Leaving behind something unhealthy. They could be leaving behind an unhealthy, a karmic situation. Maybe they heard something about that with yourself, that you're leaving something, so they're being careful how they approach. They maybe not know the uh, path that you're on, the journey, something to do with the transformation with yourself. Because I do see community gossip, people talking. I see some kind of an event. I feel like they want to offer you something. Uh, there's an event or something maybe that they're planning or their friends are planning. They may want to invite you. Just 
trust your intuition on this one. It will. I feel like it'll guide you on the right path. I, I feel like this actually could be somebody quite significant uh, to you, but they're gaining that confidence and that's taming the beast, that passion, uh, the ego, so that they can have that success to move forward, to do things right, to pay attention. You know, this is someone who pays attention to the detail, uh, calm and peace. They don't like drama. This person doesn't like drama. They don't want to create any drama. Uh, I feel they are quite uh, a very chill kind of person, Cancer. Maybe you're a little bit too dramatic for this person. Maybe you're a bit challenging. I feel like they're up for it, though, like whatever it is. So you're getting a little heads up there. I feel they want to get to know you more. I feel like they want to move forward. You know, they want to move towards success. Maybe take some time to see, you know, how this goes. There's this, this crossroads, this choice. Where is this going to go? Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles. Why is this here? Cancer. Yeah, this person's very, a little bit stuck. Holding on to something. This person's kind of in protective mode. I actually feel they're, this person's charming. I think they're quite protective of you. I do, and I feel like they're protecting you from something. So they're going to, I feel like there's something going on, some kind of, or they feel a little bit stuck about this. Challenges, obstacles, it's drama. They want to come in and fight, right? Uh, they're not, I don't think they're, they, they care about fighting, you know, beating off the, the competitors, but it's more like they don't want to create drama for you. They're protecting you. So they're holding back a little bit here, taming themselves. They're being patient here, I feel, and kind of just waiting, making plans. So if you are ending a situation with someone or they've heard that, they may be holding back to kind of protect you or they have something going on in their life and they don't, they're holding back and waiting for the right time, but they want to have success. And the only way right now is to hold back a little bit. Uh, I feel they're protecting you. Yeah, see that emotional fulfillment. Yeah, they've been holding back. They're a little cautious. I don't think this person can hold back anymore. Uh, I feel <laughs> taming that beast, that passionate energy, that go after what they want, you see. And I feel like they see you as marriage material. They, there's something here that I feel too. It's an energy of being comfortable. Maybe you're not comfortable about how they approach you. Maybe they're worried that you won't be comfortable or there's something to do with the obstacles or competition or argument or they're protecting you. They're taking things slow. Uh, I do feel they are someone who's cautious about who they offer up their feelings to, but they want that emotional fulfillment. I feel they're eventually going to come in and just open up. This person's slowly becoming unstuck, okay? Yeah, see, this is their tradition, their habit, the way they conduct themselves. There's something they've been holding on to they need to let go of. Maybe it's some something from their past, a karmic relationship, or just a habit of acting like they don't care when they do. They're going through this transformation, setting themselves free from their ego, taming their beast. Maybe that need to be controlling. Maybe something... I feel like they don't like drama. Um, maybe that's... It's telling you to keep some of that to yourself a little bit. But I feel they see you as someone who looks good. You're always prepared, planned. They see you as loving and nurturing and caring. Your marriage material right under there. They have this very, they have this strong connection feeling towards you. There's something here that they really like. Some of you are moving away from somebody like that. You're using all the strength and confidence you have to move away from somebody because you're protecting yourself and you have another person who's more on the same page, the same path. But I feel like it's the transformation of this one person uh, for, for most of you. And I feel it's to do with uh, marriage, commitment, belief, the way someone conducts themselves, right? It has to do with that acting not interested when they are, that are very aloof. Someone's very aloof, whether it's you or them or both of you, because I kind of feel like you both have some of that energy. So it's very hard to connect with somebody when you're both like that, because I think you're both crazy about each other if you know who they are. For those of you who don't, it's their energy. What is the outcome? 
Yeah, taking steps. This person's taking steps. Their first thing is to tell you what their intentions are. And you want to know before you move. But before you're not budging until you know what they want, what their intentions are towards you. There's the steps towards the palace. That's So this person's going to become unstuck. That's the three of pentacles energy. See, it's being stuck. Something's holding this person back. Could be protecting their money, their finances, but I think they're protecting you from obstacles and challenges. They're taming the beast. They want to come in. They know what they want, but they need to go slow for whatever reason. So I feel like they're protecting you. And I think this person is very faithful towards you. I think this person sees you as someone faithful. I feel their intentions are is to commit. Um... But yeah, this is that taking that pentacle off, going down that path. So eventually they're definitely going to open up. They're going to become unstuck because they're in that. There's a pause here where this person takes a pause. And it has to do with their feelings, their emotions, these romantic feelings, secrets, things that are hidden. They may have a secret or they see you as being secretive. I feel like it's kind of goes both ways. But yeah, I'm moving towards that emotional fulfillment. There's an eight. The abundance is starting to flow, you see. This person is ready to open up. They want to have success with you. Uh, there's something to do with financial success here as well with this person. I feel they're very financially oriented, very grounded, practical. This is someone sometimes who stays single for a long time. They're afraid to take a leap of faith towards a commitment possibly. Uh, and opening up emotionally. Maybe they are successful. They get a lot of attention. They're cautious. They look at everybody who comes, approaches them, how they approach uh, to do with this success. They may have had a lot of false victories. Could be yourself as well. So it's someone who, you know, gets their finances in order before they start a relationship. So I do feel like there's love here. It's somebody who's very family oriented. Yeah, look what's just come out here. Kindred partnership. They're looking for someone, a kindred spirit, that soulmate connection, the one. This person sees you as the one and you may see them that way, but it looks like, you know, it could go either way. It depends who you are in this reading, but this is about staying optimistic, being optimistic. So this person's coming from this holding back of, you know, you using all the strength they have to tame that beast, that passionate energy. They so are attracted to you. Like they really want to get this going. They're not afraid to fight for what they want, but there's something about this fight. So it's saying to stay optimistic, to be conscious, to look into that new beginning. And I do feel they are optimistic. Okay, their energy is very optimistic. And it's about these open arms again. When I see those open arms, you see... You both may be seeing the optimism. You both may see the other person as the one, but there's something that's been stuck. It's about protective. It's about holding on to money. It's about holding on to things that need to be, you know, let go of. It could be a karmic relationship or a habit. See, that tr tradition card, the Hierophant is habit, tradition, the way someone behaves. They keep themselves stuck because they tame that beast. They don't always fight for what they want, and now somebody wants to. So I see that, tra there's that transformation. Something is ending, and there's a new cycle beginning. This person's going through a change, okay? Or both of you are. There is gonna be something really nice here. I do think you're both open to this. I think you see there's some very positive energy. This kindred spirits, you have a lot in common. You both kind of act like you don't care. That's what I think. You both act like you don't care, but you actually do. You're both thinking about each other. You're both keeping secrets. You both both secretly want this new beginning. You both want it. But you're keeping your feelings secret. You're keeping things to yourself. You're both very private. You both spend a lot of time alone, single. You have everything you need. You keep things to yourself, your feelings, emotions. All right, Cancer, that, if that's, that's different for yourself because I feel you're usually someone who offers up that cup. But I feel like you're keeping something to yourself. Your feelings, you're, you know, you're focused on the future, your finances and your money. I feel like you are or you want somebody like that. I see this loving and nurturing, caring, and I feel like you really want to share your feelings with this person, but you're keeping them to yourself. You're looking out for yourself, though. You're looking out for number one. Something maybe that, you know, a transition that you've gone through is to learn to do that. Keep something to yourself. Look out for yourself. Your intuition may be telling you that as well. So let's see what the outcome is. Wow, this is beautiful. I just want one more card on that King of Pentacles. 
And the card that when I picked this up that flipped was commitment. Yeah, someone's thinking about commitment. There you go. Yeah, they're very attracted to you. This high vibration, very attracted to you. And uh, they're very drawn to you. And I feel they are going through a transition where they're raising their vibration, becoming more optimistic, more positive about... If you're already seeing this person, this is what's going on in their head. They're thinking of this is someone who's planning to commit to do with their tradition, belief, behavior, the way they conduct themselves. It's somebody who likes to have all their finances in order before they commit. There's somebody who likes to be a provi provider. You both want this. There's this high vibration. I feel like it's their transition. They're conducting themselves different than they have. They're going to be more open because uh, I feel they act aloof or you do. So it's, it's in the center. I feel like it's going on with both of you. Raising that vibration, there's a lot of, uh, so someone coming in as their higher self, their tradition, belief, behavior, the way they conduct. There's a commitment here. This is beautiful. Be yeah, that we have the loving man here. This is somebody who's very loving and nurturing, very open. Uh, this is what you want, and I feel like this is about what you're, you're going to get here. And I think this person will give you whatever they want. They're crushing, right? Or they're going to... They, they're someone who's not very good maybe at sharing feelings so they're going to do a lot of really nice things maybe spoil you to show you that they care until and if you accept this you need to share some feelings maybe i see two people with feelings for each other i see a, a future between two people here i see this transition and ending to this um stuck energy and moving forward so where it goes it's hard to say uh, I feel like it's telling you don't make plans for the future with this person. Just kind of go with it, okay? Because uh, I feel like you both want it. I think you secretly both want to start something. Something solid, something reliable. Like you both want a, a person like that in your life. But this person's ego's the transition. It's taken a hit here. They're so someone who maybe have taken a leap of faith. Maybe you rejected them or they've been rejected in the past by other people. So they kind of struggle with that a little so i feel as if you make this person feel comfortable they'll eventually open up more and you know, they are definitely very loving and nurturing and caring and that high vibration it's them it's you it's just the energy so take care i so wish you guys the best in this and we'll see you soon